Next thing we're going to do is routing. We're going to have multiple views. One is a list of parties and the second one is party details where we can enter the specific uh, party. So let's start doing that. This is our app right now. Let's add a few parties. And the first thing we need to do is actually to add our router package. We're going to use a um, we're going to use a UI router, which is the most popular router of Angular and it's really really good and we're going to add the package. So to add the package, we need to just write meteor add angular UI angular UI router and that will add the router to us mm. and the ne next thing we need to do is to make our app dependent on one of UI router so here uh, we're declaring all the dependencies of our app and we just write UI router here now the next thing we need to do is actually to divide our templates so first, let's create a new file that's called parties-list.ng.html and we'll move everything in party list into that. And then let's add a party details file party details dot ng dot html to here let's write here here you will see the details of party number and add the party id just to make sure that we got into the right party. So, um, another interesting thing is that the router uh, is responsible of uh, declaring our controllers. So we can get rid of that and we can define our controllers in the router. So, that's nice. Now, let's go and create our router. So. Let's go here and add to our socially app. Let's add a config. Now I can just go and copy it from here and explain what it does. So first in the config uh, we're placing everything we want to config when the app is when the Angular app is is uh, is initializing. So we're gonna use HTML mode true, which means that we won't have any hash bangs or stuff like that before of our URL. Our URL will just look will be divided as slashes. Then we have our state provider, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna define two states. One is parties, and one is parties details. And the URL for parties is parties, and the URL for uh, party details is parties slash a uh, party ID. And when we have those, this sign it means that we are this is a variable. So anything we will write. After parties, after parties slash will be entering, will be initializing that variable. The next thing we're also declaring is the actual a template that we're going to use and the template URL, and we're going to declare the controller that initialized that. So we have the party details control, parties list controller, and we need to add the party detail controller. So this is how we define our routes in UI router. Now, another thing we need to do is to actually change our index HTML. So 
when we work with UI router, we have to define a base URL in the head. So we do that by calling this tag base and making the href just one slash. And this is everything will be based on that. Um, then we can remove this and actually remove the ng include and we're gonna include straight we're gonna uh, use the uh, the the router so let's just do something like that we have the app here and then everything inside let's just do like an h1 that will define our uh, home path so let's write the uh, a with href just like that and we're gonna route to the list of parties we're gonna write home and we click this we're gonna be back in the parties list and let's write here the base of the UI router uh, so when we write here UI view it means that everything that will be rendered by the router will be re rendered here so when we go here and it will render template URL or party details uh, HTML, it will render it here. Um, and that's great. Now the next thing we want to do is to define our controller. We have one controller, we want to add another one. So let's just copy it from here. This is one controller, that's the second one. So again, like we did before, we have Angular module socially, then the controller named party details controller. Then we're bringing the scope and the state param. State params holds the parameters of the router. And specifically, we're talking about a uh, this parameter party ID. So the way the same name that we defined here will be available for us under state params here, party ID here. So the only thing we're gonna do is just to define scope party ID variable and just to make it equal to the party ID that will be on the URL. And that's it. And then on the party details we're just gonna display it here. Now, what we need to add here is we need to have sh actually have a link to dive into uh, one of the parties. So to do that, we're just going to add an a tag, make the href go to parties, and generate party dot ID and we're gonna move the name into here and then the name will be actual will actually be a link to the party ID uh, and that's it let's run the app and see how it looks Okay, we're running it up, we're going here, this will automatically refresh and we have all the parties here and something is missing, let's look. Oh. It says it, UI router is not available. Let's look what we are missing, we added UI router. Find it here. Our the problem was that we defined UI router like that as the name of the module. Let's see if it worked. Going here, and you can see that we have parties, and it's a link. So when I click the link, you can see on the bottom of the page that it goes to localhost 3000, which is our a server's path and then parties and then the ID of the party. So if I'm clicking here, you can see 
this is our party's ID and you can see that it's reflected here. If I'll click home, I'll go back to the list of parties. Again, if we we'll go to this party and then click back, it will also do the same. 